Good morning, Off the Bench Sports family. Good morning, good morning, good morning. We are live here in Youngsville, Louisiana, home of the Southside Sharks. Before you, um, local legend, um, ULL. UL. UL. Drop that second L. Y'all drop the second L. The University of Louisiana. Raging Cage. No Lafayette no more. We in Lafayette, you know, so it's just the university. <laughs> <laughs> so, UL celebrity, uh, this guy, he, he, he transcended basketball while he was there. Um, one of the best scores the Lafayette area has ever seen, I think that is what I was told. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, Mr. Brad Boyd. What's Thank up, Coach? Nothing much, man. Thank you for having me on the uh, Off the Bench Show, man. I'm, I'm, I'm sports. Glad you... Off the Bench Sports. Off the Bench Sports. You gotta say sports. If not, you're talking the about the sports. other guys. Yes, at Off the Bench Sports. <laughs> I appreciate you making the journey out here from Gonzales, man. Thank you, man. How, how you like the area down here? Man, hey, I, I, it, it's, it's interesting. We're in the middle of cane field, man. Right. Interesting. Like, so no it, sharks in the area, man. I don't no know where shark. they got the name from, but it, it, it's catchy. It goes well together. You guys have a really beautiful school here that yes, you sir. all have put together here in this area. Really beautiful school. So if you guys are need a day day ride on a Sunday, come check out Southside. It's really beautiful. Yeah, come by Southside, 312 Albanesta Road in Youngsville, Louisiana. Great facility, brand new school, right in the middle of the Canyon. So we are here right now. Let's let let let's go. Tell us more about Brad Boy. Well, uh, Brad Boy, born and raised in Opelousas, Louisiana. Uh, played high school ball at St. Thomas More High School for uh, Hall of Fame coach Danny Broussard. Uh Went on to play college basketball at the University of Louisiana in Lafayette. Uh, played for Jesse Evans, uh, who won a national title with Arizona with Mike Bibby and Miles Simon. Uh, after college, uh, pursued pursued a little professional uh, basketball career. Didn't really pan out, played a little ABA, a uh, little semi-pro ball here and there, and then, then just got right into uh, you know the working the working field and uh, went to the all field for a couple years and, and really really had a love for coaching and being around kids. So some kind of way I had to get back into the coaching you know full time and uh, went and got my education certification and, and now we're teaching in high school and coaching high school basketball. Okay, you're here at Southside right now. Is this the only school you've been at, or, or uh, uh, you had coached, other coaching uh, yeah, endeavors? Yeah, I, I started my coaching career at Ascension Episcopal, which is right up the road in Youngsville. Coached the girls basketball program for a couple of years there. Uh, then I was offered a job at Opus High School under to coach Jamie Rollins. He brought me aboard to uh, help the program out. And uh, after a year, some situations happened, and they, uh, they let Coach Rollins go, and they, they slipped me in as the head coach. And I was able to coach the, uh, the Tigers for two years, where we won a district championship. Uh, you know, my first year, we uh, were able to upset a number seven seed uh, to move into the second round of the playoffs. And my second year there, which I said we won a district championship, we beat teams like St. Thomas Moore and Northside and Karen Crow. And, and, and we're right on the verge of really, really developing a great program. And then Southside came along and offered me a great job, which is right by my house up the road. And it was, a, it was an opportunity over here that I couldn't pass up. Great administration. Uh, with our principal, uh, Ms. Cassidy, and our athletic director, Dwayne Searle. And it just was a great opportunity I couldn't pass up, and, and we're here today. Like all new schools that enter into the LHSAA, you guys had, have, you are in your two-year waiting period. This will be your last year playing sub-varsity sports. You guys are also a 9th through 11th grade school right now. How do you go about looking to fill your schedule for basketball? Well. It, it's it, it's kind of hectic, you know. You got to get on the phone and you got to call a lot of people. We we took last year and this year as it was a varsity schedule, even though we're playing JV games. Uh, last year we played 35 games. This year we're going to play close to 40 games with our JV and freshman teams. And you just got to get on the phone. And over the years of me being a basketball player and a college basketball player, I pretty much know all the area high school coaches and a, and a lot of coaches across the state. So we just kind of call them up, ask them to fill in some dates here and there, and start knocking away at your schedule. And, and once you fill the dates, you're good to go. And right. We were able actually this year to get into a couple of varsity tournaments. We're going to be in Bill Platt High School varsity tournament uh, right before Thanksgiving, right as the season starts. And we're also going to be in LeGrange Christmas tournament 
uh, which will give us the opportunity to play a couple of varsity teams this year. Okay, that's good. What has been your leading principles and philosophies behind Brad Boy Basketball? Well, just hard work, uh, you know, and being in the media, being in the, you know, the social, uh, you know, apps of this, that, just always plugging what you're doing, you know, especially just positive things, working with kids. I mean, we have a uh, basketball program that my wife and sister-in-law run, which I help out. It's called Acadiana Bitty Basketball, and it starts kids at five years old. And we take kids at five and six-year-olds, and we work them up to seven and eights and nine, tens. And then eventually when they get out of our bitty program, we like to run them through our AU program, which is Acadiana Stars Basketball. And then, and then after that, man, just, you know, those kids are going to go off to high school, whether they're trying to make their high school team or their junior high teams. And we kind of just start them off in the basic fundamentals of basketball. And, and that, that's big with us with Brad Boy basketball, as long as we bitty basketball and the, and the AAU thing. It's just fundamentals, teaching them the right way, how to play hard, but also play the right way. What can people expect from a Brad Boy uh, Southwood Sharks basketball team this upcoming season? Well, last year, uh, I told our kids, you know, even the games we lost, when you're shaking hands, a good game line, you know, you talk to the coaches after the game, they all said that our team played ball. And that's the biggest thing that we want at Southside. Uh, as of right now, we don't have, you know, giants walking around the hall or all the best athletes, but all our kids on our basketball team, they, you know, they're going to dive on the floor, they're going to take charges, they're going to block you out, they're going to play hard. So, you know, our philosophy here, my philosophy has always been the guys, you know, just get them to play hard and the rest is going to fall where it may. You know, you got to make shots, you got to play defense, but if you're playing hard, a lot of times that can, that can help you out along the way. I, I got to watch you a couple of times over the summer, you and your basketball team. Um, I think the first time that I got to see you was at New Iberia. You coach with a lot of passion. Your kids play with that same energy. Your love for the game, why did, why did it grow so greatly? It, 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 it was always just a huge love for the game. Even when I was a little kid watching my brother play, I just loved basketball. And, and, and when I started to play, it just was, you know, I hated to lose. You know, it, it, if I lost, I'd always cry, and I didn't want to have that feeling. So I would, <laughs> I would always play extremely hard to try to win and, and had very much success, even playing at a young age. We won a lot of games, won a lot more than I lost. And the same thing with coaching. You always want to try to win, you know, more games than you lose throughout your season. And coaching now is the closest way to get back to the game with, without being able to play. You know, you're right there on the sideline. It's like I'm in the game. I can't sit down and coach, and, you know, unless I get a technical, which, 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 which comes, comes every once in a while. They make you sit down uh, to coach. But I have to be in the game. I have to be moving up and down the sideline. I have to be in the players' ears because it's a lot that goes on. It's a it's a bunch of bang bang quick plays that happen in basketball. And you got to be in tune and, and, and right up on the game. Right. So you guys have Acadiana Bitty basketball, Acadiana Stars, Brad Boy basketball camps, Brad Boy shooting camps. Uh. We also have the Brad Boy Showcase, which is a senior showcase every year. Yes. Uh, yeah. It's a great event. This is our, we've done it six years already. We've had over 50 kids end up, uh, they come play in our showcase and they end up signing scholarships, whether it be for coaches that came and watched them that day or coaches that we might send information off about that kid. Uh, these kids that come to me, I, I, some of them I've seen play during the year, but some of them I get my eyes on them that, that day at that showcase and kind of help them out along the way, maybe get a scholarship to a junior college or to a, a grad school or something like that. So it's a bunch of basketball that we love to do year round. Right. So as always, Coach, um, I always thank kids who are in the service industry of our youth like me. Thank you for giving your service to the youth in your community, uh, the youth in your high school area. Um, really, really great when you give back in that manner. I appreciate it. Thank you for taking a moment with Off the Bench Sports as well. Remember, get off the bench, get into the game. Thank you very much, man. I want, I want to spend a spe special shout out to you, Holbert. You're doing a great thing across the state of Louisiana. This is a great thing you got going with Off the Bench Sports, and I appreciate you coming out and taking the time with Southside and myself today. Thank you, Coach.